So I have no idea if, when this is going up. But I just, I look the same because I just filmed about my best of primers and moisturizers and now this is going to be the best of blushes. I love blush. I love it. And a lot of these probably look the same, but they're not the same. I'm going to go over that. But I'm just saying, I don't know when these are going up and if they go around the same time, I look the same, the same flappy sleeves. It's because of that. So, um, all of these are drugstore and they're all very cheap. So that's exciting and all of these are basically my best of I've, the door is flapping so just ignore that but I love blush it's one of my favorite things to put on my face that highlighter eyeshadow I love it I love it I really do um so I'm so happy to talk about this after this I have lipsticks and I have a shit ton of lipsticks to go over it's the best of cheap lipsticks why is there a Jeffree Star lipstick in that bag? He's not cheap. Sorry, Jeffree, you're not cheap. I don't, I'm, I got these bags mixed up somehow, but this is the best cheap blush. I need to go make sure that my door did not just fly open and I'll be right back. It was just my neighbors being loud, I'm sorry. Now back to what I was doing. It's so bright in here, so I'm sorry if I'm just like, this is the best lighting we've ever had on this channel, so. And you'll actually get to see swatches that are not in the dark, so. But this is the Milani Baked Plush in Luminoso. This is a cult favorite. Um, the plastic thing broke off, so. But it's so freaking beautiful. I have to say my favorite kind of blushes are the peachy orangey ones. There's a lot of cool toned pinks in here, but just know that the, the orangey peachy blushes are my favorite. Um, it definitely does feel powdery. It's a baked blush. But it's like a luminous blush. I don't know if you can tell. It's definitely that peachy. You can see a bit of that sheen. It can definitely be sheared out. So it's not like an overwhelming pigment. Um, but it's really good. I I love it. I love it. The nice thing is this NYX blush. And Pink the Town. It's their high definition blush. It's so tiny. I can't remember... It's also like an orangey pink, obviously. It's more of like a matte one, but I still love it. And I know I like a, um, a more luminous face, but that's why I have um, glowy mist for that. So. And this is just an Ulta blush. It's so old in glow. <laughs> it's so old. This was actually given to me, so I... I don't know how much it is, but I'm gonna assume it's cheap because Ulta, the Ulta collection is actually pretty cheap. And I can't imagine a tiny blush like this being expensive, but it's it's really good. It's just a cool toned blush, not one of my favorite favorites, but like, it's a really good for cool toned looks. Like, it's a very cool toned mauvey pink, I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, but I use it when I'm doing like a very smoky, um, just a very cool toned look. Just so it's not like an overwhelming like peach color on my cheeks and then like dark on my eyes. Um, but it also gives me like a flush of color so I don't look dead. Um, next we have the Essence Mosaic Blush and All You Need Is Pink. It's obviously a mosaic blush. It looks like that. Um, this is probably the most sheer out of all of them. And probably the most powdery of all of all of them. It's a very pink. Not like a pink that I wear often. But it's a very nice pink. And it's very subtle, so if you're not, you don't want too much blush, this is for you. Like, you can almost reduce it down to nothing. So if you want, like, a flush of color, but you don't want too much, so this is for you. And it's the Essence. Essence is one of the cheapest brands I've ever come across, so... I'm just saying. Next, we have this Makeup Revolution, the matte blush in Nude. And, of course, I'm not, like, a fan of matte faces, but, again, I have a glue settings for that. This was my cult favorite, my personal favorite. For a very long time, I love this blush. It's like a very pigmented, um, warm. I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's not very pink, but it's not peachy. It's not orange. It's just a basic blush. Kind of like if your cheeks were flush, it would be that, but a bit darker. Um, of course, it's matte. It's very matte. Like it's matte. 
um, but you can definitely make it less matte. And then we have the Wet n Wild Coricon Baked Blush. This is, was limited edition, so I don't think it's out anymore, but it's in Hummingbird Hype, I think. Of course, yep, Hummingbird Hype. It's the, um, the more orangey glow one. I hit pan because I love it so much. Oh my god. It is so glowy. It makes my cheeks look wet with orange. Orange peachy goodness. Like my cheeks look wet. They almost look not greasy, but you know what's there. And when I do that, I don't add too much highlight just on the high plan because I can't go without highlight. But this adds so much of a glow that you don't need much. It's more glowy than this one. Uh, but they are basically, it's a bit lighter than this shade, but it's about the same shade. Um, next we have is the Wet n Wild Curicon Ro Blush and Rose Champagne in their basic packaging. I have the one in Mellow Wine, which is like a very deep wine color, which is my favorite. It's not as pigmented. That's a bad word. It's not as like... You're not going to see wine on your face. It's more subdued. But it broke because I'm an idiot and I toss things around carelessly. So this is the last blush I have that's lasting. But it's very nice for natural days. It's not like... You can't really see pigment. I'm kind of like... It's very... It blends in with the skin. It's very natural. It gives you almost like a glow without there being too much color. So if you just want like a natural, natural, natural look... And the essence one is still too much for you. This is the next best thing. Then we have the LA color, no LA girl, just blushing blush and just natural. Looks like this. It's also matte, but it's like a soft matte. It's not like overwhelmingly dry or anything. It's gonna look dry on my hand because of my wrinkles. But this is like an apricotty peach color, right there. Here's. I am running out of room. I think I only have three left. Um, I'm going through this very fast because I did have a lot. Next we have is the CoverGirl Peach Punch Blush, which is peach, peach scented. It smells just like the Too Faced Peach Palette, that fake peach smell. I personally like it. I know a lot of people don't, but I like that smell. This is also very natural. And I think it is just in Peach Punch. Yeah, Peach Punch. So I think there's only one of these. It looks like that. It's more natural than what it looks like in the pan. I know it looked very bright there for a second. It's definitely a peachy color. But on the cheeks, it is not that intense. It's much more subdued. It's more like the rosé champagne with a bit more color. Just a tad bit more color. So you can see it. But it would look almost like it's part of your skin. Like you're just, you just have that natural flush to your cheeks. So you can definitely just sheer it down to almost nothing. Or you can definitely build it up. But it is not that intense on the cheek, so don't worry. It's if you, a lot of blush is not your thing. Um, the last two things I ha I put in this palette, it's a ColourPop palette. It's actually for eyeshadow, but it's the Rom Com blush. It is probably one of the most pigment pigmented ones I have. It is not gonna see it in that swatch. It is a very orangey peach color. It looks very pink in the pan, but I tell tell you, it comes off very orangey. Um. Dare I say tangerine? No, that is too orange. What is the color I'm thinking of where it's like orange, but it's pink, but it's orange? It's some kind of fruit. Maybe the inside of a grapefruit? What am I thinking of? I don't know my fruit. Um, if you're this blush, you know what I'm talking about, but it's very beautiful. It's definitely the most pigmented. It's definitely intense on the cheek, so definitely going for a light hand, but ColourPop has amazing blushes. I've never tried in their Super Shock, which is the cream ones, um, but I do have a cream blush here, which is from Flower Beauty. It's in the shade, it's their blush bombs, and it's in the shade Nectar. And I'm just going to put it on this hand because you just need a little dab. A little dab will do you. I think this is just such a cute package. This is one of the first few things I've ever tried from Flower, and it is very peachy orange. Um... It can be reduced down to almost nothing, just a light flush on the cheeks, but it can be very intense, and I love it so much. It's obviously one of my favorite blush colors. Um, I love cream products. Um, 
I know a lot of people are afraid of cream products. I am not. I love cream products. They make my heart happy. But, um, I love that. So those are the blushes I have for you today. I still need to film the freaking lipstick video. That is going to be a pain in my ass because there are so many of them. I don't know why I grabbed so many. I kept seeing lipsticks and be like, I wear this one a lot. I wear this one a lot. I was trying to give like, um, I was trying to show that there's more than like nudes because I wear a lot of nudes, obviously. So I hope it doesn't like scare people away, but it's a huge bag of lipstick, but I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you like any of these blushes or let me know. I'm always in the search for my blush. Let me know what your favorite blush is down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.